What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome to Titanfall Quick Tip of the Day. This is a series that's going to be run alongside my regular content, so it's not going to be replacing my regular content, it's just going to be running alongside it. And with this series, I'm just going to be sharing with you guys little tips that I discover while playing Titanfall. Some of it's going to be extremely basic, like for the people that have never played the game before, uh, like this episode today. And other episodes may be things where it's more advanced and maybe just little tips that you might not have thought of or you might not know about even if you are a person that has played the game quite a bit. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy this series and let's get into it. Alright, so today we're going to be talking about the heads-up display for pilots. Now I know this may seem really basic, but when you get into a new first-person shooter, oftentimes there's so much going on on the screen that you kind of fail to recognize some of the little details in your heads-up display and they can be extremely helpful for you actually playing the game. So it's very important to know every little aspect of the heads-up display and what it means. Okay, so first up, arguably the most important thing for your heads-up display is the mini-map, and that's on the top left corner, obviously. I'm not going to get into great detail in this episode, but just know that enemy pilots show up as big red dots, and enemy minions show up as little red dots, and then uh, enemy titans show up as big red arrows. But that's all I'm going to cover with the minimap. We could do a whole episode on the minimap, and I likely will. Moving on from there, in the bottom left corner above the score, we have the Titan counter. And this one shows you how many Titans are active on the map at any given time for each team. So on the top, you have how many Titans are active on your team, and on the bottom, how many Titans are active on the enemy team. This is obviously really important to know because it can change the way that you approach certain situations. Now, right in between the Titan counter, we have the score counter. And your team is always going to be on the top, whether you're losing or not, you're going to be displayed on the top, and the enemy team is going to be displayed on the bottom. Moving on to the next thing, these are two things that I didn't really notice until playing the game and actually putting some time into it, because, I don't know, my eyes just weren't really attracted to these areas, and I didn't really uh, take the time to understand them. But now that I understand them, it's very simple and very useful. So on the left, we have the ability meter which shows how much of your ability is left, so if, if your ability is charging up or not, and if it is charged. So this is like your cloak or your stim, or I think there's another one, I can't remember what it is. Uh, but that's really where your ability is at. And then on the right-hand side, we have your ordnance. It shows you basically how many grenades you have left, or how many satchels, or whatever equipment or ordnance that you have. It shows you how many you have left. So next up, we have the kill feed, and in this game, the kill feed isn't really pronounced, it isn't really all that easy to see and really pay attention to, but it can be important for certain situations. So a situation I'm thinking is maybe you see an enemy's name tag and you don't have time to get shots on him, he goes around a corner or something, and your teammate's over there too, and you want to know if your teammate killed that guy or if he killed your teammate, and whether or not you have to be prepared for that guy. And you can just have a quick glance at the kill feed, and if you see that guy's name tag pop up as being killed, then you know that your teammate got him. Uh, and if it's the other way around, then of course, then you know you have to be aware of that guy, that he is alive and he may be coming for you. So just little things like that. It's important to know that the kill feed's there. Other than situations like that, though, it's not something you really have to focus on all game. Now, right below the kill feed, we have our weapons and ammo. Uh, you'll notice the gun that's displayed in text there. That is the gun that's in your hand. So it says R97 SMG. That's the gun in my hand. Uh, right below that, it shows you how many rounds are left, so 40. I have 40 rounds in my magazine right now. Right above that number 40, you'll see times 11. That's how many magazines you have left. And then right below everything else, right on the bottom of that weapons and ammo thing, it shows your anti-titan weapon and the button on the D-pad that you have to hit. Not that uh, that button ever changes to be able to switch to your titan weapon, or your anti-titan weapon. Right next to the weapon and ammo, we have a little hexagon that displays your titan's status. So it'll show whether you're counting down to your next Titan for the next Titanfall. Uh, it'll show uh, your auto Titan and how much health it has left, which is what it's showing right now. Or it might show you, if you're in the Titan, it'll show your core ability. But that's getting into the Titan heads-up display, which will be next episode. Okay, so finally, I have to bring up a different image because this wasn't displayed in the previous image. But this is the targeted Titan health bar right here. So when you target an enemy Titan, this bar will appear and it won't disappear until you have completely untargeted that titan and it just shows you the current status of their health so it's really important if you're trying to take down a uh, titan while you're a pilot and you need to know like how many shots is this going to take is it worth it for me to uh, go for the rodeo now or should i try and whittle down his health a little bit more before i go for that rodeo 
Uh, so it is very important to know, and I didn't really understand what it was at first, so uh, just in case you didn't know, that's what it is. Alright, so that's going to wrap it up for this first episode of the Titanfall Quick Tip of the Day. In future episodes, I plan on keeping them a little bit shorter, but I kind of had to explain what this series is at the beginning of this one, so that's why this one is a little bit longer. So, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll talk to you guys next time.